So what is CRISPR? CRISPR is a form of gene editing and is a system that is adapted from a bacteria. Originally in bacteria, if a virus invades, the immune system of the bacteria will fight it. If the bacteria is successful in fighting the virus, a protein called Cas, which is short for CRISPR-associated protein, will take a sample from the viral DNA to store it in the bacteria's CRISPR, where it gets its name, clustered regularly in the space short palindromic lipids. So the bacteria will use that copy of the viral RNA and binds it to an enzyme called Cas9. The RNA will become a guide for the enzyme. So if the bacteria gets infected by the same virus again, Cas9 will find the strand of RNA and cut it, thus incapacitating it. Scientists can use the same concept. They can design an RNA that will match the ones that they want to cut and then bind it with Cas9 and inject it into the wanted cell. Cas9 will snip the matching DNA and scientists can make a template to guide the cell to repair the cut DNA into the way that they want or even insert the new gene sequence. Scientists have been attempting to use the CRISPR technology to eradicate malaria, a mosquito-borne disease caused by parasites. So far, the results have been promising. In a study by the Imperial College London in the United Kingdom, the scientists have managed to insert an anti-malarial protein into a set of genes that are turned on once the mosquito eats a blood meal. To further test this mosquito safely under more natural conditions, the researchers have built a high-security lab in Italy to prevent these mosquitoes from escaping. This is to ensure no unforeseen effects can take place in the natural ecosystem. The mosquitoes were then released into specially large cages filled with hundreds of natural mosquitoes. These mosquitoes managed to eradicate the natural mosquito population in less than a year, thus reducing the population of malarial carrying mosquitoes. Apart from being an alternative in reducing malaria carrying mosquitoes, gene editing technique has also been proven to have a great usage in other aspects such as animals and plants. As an example, do you know that researchers have found out that gene editing could be used to reproduce livestock and animals that are threatened by extinction? Researchers have found out that by taking DNA or gene from a healthy and fertile cow and then replacing it in an infertile cow, the cow will then be fertile and produce a healthy cow. In conclusion, genome editing can become a very important device for the sustainability of nature. CRISPR opened up a new realm of science that can be beneficial for the future of tomorrow. Thank you!